Good evening, brothers and sisters. God bless you. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with every single person. Uh, today, I wanted to start with a prayer. Lord God, bless every single person that watches this video. Touch their heart and let them learn spiritual truth in the name of Jesus. How to rebuke enemies in the name of Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So today, what I want to reveal is a little testimony of what's been happening with my life. In these days, I've been uh, beginning, beginning to start to preach the Word of God. And things are going really good in the name of Jesus, but I'm getting nightmares. I'm getting nightmares in my dreams, and I'm getting like five nightmares in a row. When I get out of a dream, I wake up for a second, and then I go back into the dream, and I'm having nightmares. And the reason I'm trying to figure out what's going on. We're going to find with some scriptures in the name of Jesus. We start like that. Juan 8, 44, excuse me, John 8, 44 means the father um, of Satan or the devil who wants to use your thoughts of the father to see he was a homicide person His from the, from the principle and the truth. There is no truth in him and he is just who he is from his naturalism and he is a liar and the father of lies in the name of Jesus. Reason why I tell you the guys because I want to figure some stuff out and now we do Acts thirteen ten. It says uh, your son the devil is 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 full of um a trickery, fraud, and to your enemy with injustice because he is showing he's trying to take the ways of God away. So he's trying to direct you away from him in the name of Jesus. Reason why I start with these scriptures because they're so powerful in the name of Jesus. These scriptures will teach you what um who the enemy is and how do we fight through him in the name of jesus we have to use the spiritual attacks to attack him because he attacks us in the name of jesus so i'm going to go with uh last one is first john it means it's a very powerful scripture in the name of jesus so we find it first john 4 1 0 4 means brothers and sisters the spirit that is this as uh, from God? Um, hold on. There's very spirits from God and from God. And many false prophets have gone into the world. And what you know is the spirit of God. That spirit that confesses Jesus Christ has come in flesh and, and blood. And that is from God. And the spirit that does not confess from Jesus in blood is from the spirit of the Antichrist. You have heard many of these things, but now it's in the world. In the name of Jesus. So what I wanted to reveal from you was my testimony. Why, why are these things happening to me? Well, the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ is going to wake me up in the name of Jesus to preach the word of God in the most biggest ways in churches and um, nations, different languages. I speak English and Spanish. That's why you see all my videos in Spanish and English. But the reason it is, it's a very testimony because my father was Pentecost and my father died um, of um, drinking and medicine. But the devil took him, meaning the devil tricked him. God was waking him up to be a Pentecost pastor in the name of Jesus. But what happened was he was not strong enough. So my, the seed of my father is me and I am here to uh, rebuke the devil, stand the devil and stop against him all his attacks against the world on these final days of tribulation in the name of Jesus. I am a soldier of God and I am here to protest the word of God, to confess the word of God from my tongue, from his, from my heart, straight to the Holy Spirit, straight to the authority of God and everything reading biblical. That's how we do it. It's not about me being famous, not about, about videos, likes. It, I don't care about that stuff. My mission is to you is to save souls to teach you the truth of the holy spirit through the bible to, the, the truth is so stronger it's stronger than religion it's stronger than churches it's stronger than pastors popes everything this is the power of god the power of god to save you in the end of times in the name of jesus so today i was telling you that how when you are coming into the word of god or you're Going into the word of God for the first time, you have nightmares. And when you have these nightmares, you feel like you're being tormented. You feel like you're being confused. You don't know what's going on. You just wake up and you're scared and you're scared. Remember, this, the, fee, the spirit of fear comes from the devil. So he's just trying to scare you so you don't enter to the word of God. Or you go back to the world. You go drink, smoke, uh, live your old life like you used to. But when you become into a man of God or a person of God or a woman of God, excuse me, you become a new creation. So you start forming in the name of Jesus. And by him doing that you start passing through your test it's called tests and you have to resist the devil like the word of god says resist the devil and he'll flee from you forever in the name of jesus the reason why i'm telling you these is because um the devil attacks you through our mind in such a spiritual conflict it's like a spiritual battle and we're getting attacked through our dreams 
and what's happening is I have my wife with me and uh, we're not we're not together at this time we're separate but I miss her like crazy and I'm getting attacked like I'm seeing my wife with uh, another baby from another man I'm seeing her with another man and like all these things and I'm like this is not true this can't happen but the devil has made it so real that it makes it feel like wow I was doing like this and the reason why he's doing that because um me and her haven't been talking to each other because i'm waiting for god to hear her heart and to change her in the name of jesus because that's what god does and when god does something he wants you to back away and let him do what he has to do in the name of jesus so many marriages that need to be uh helped by god the best way is to restore by god ask to help your marriage and at the same time stand back and let God do whatever pray for that person's heart and let that healing start happening in the name of Jesus so I'm doing that I'm preaching the word of God in English and in Spanish I'm on uh, Facebook I'm on um, I guess it's called Guerrero of Christ Quinones that's me or my page in the name of Jesus but um, there's been very powerful moves I'm starting to start a church in the name of Jesus pretty soon so this is not just a thing for fame like I said this is a spiritual truth that God has given me the Holy Spirit in these last final days to teach the world, the world, the world, the church, everybody who's doing the wrong job and to be saved in the name of Jesus. All you need is the Holy Spirit, the seal of God. Once you have the Holy Spirit, you'll know the truth. That's how simple it is. If you want to go to the scripture, which is famous, we'll go to Ephesians uh, chapter 1, verses 13. And it says, in him you are also trust. In him means that you in, in God. And let's go, maybe we go to 12. Let's do 12, ready? That that he who was first trust in Christ should be praised in him in glory. In him you are trust. And after you heard the word of truth, meaning the Bible, the gospel of salvation, Jesus Christ, and to, ready? to whom you have believed, you have to believe in this stuff, the truth, and you were sealed by the Holy Spirit. See, you have to know God, you have to know Jesus Christ, and you need to know the Holy Spirit. People believe that just know two things, like the Catholic Church, they believe two things, and that's it. That's not it. You have to continue reading the Bible. You have to open the Bible. You shouldn't have fear to open in the Bible. These are the final times. Things are going to happen. There's going to be plagues. There's going to be storms. There's going to be different types of situations. There's going to be new um, governments, new information, and people are going to just, they don't know who to worship. It's going to be... The last choice is to worship the Lord Jesus Christ or to worship Satan from the world. And it's not his name is not going to be Satan. They're not going to call him. They're going to call him the light, like the Illuminati. They call him the light, the Illuminati. That's part of Satan. That's not part of God. That's not Jesus Christ for nothing. The only God in this world is Jesus Christ. The one that wants to be God is Satan. And he's been wanting to be God since the beginning, since God kicked him out of heaven and he fell down with his angels in the name of Jesus. He's a falling angel in the name of Jesus. You just need to understand that. He's a fallen angel who wants to trick the world. And that's why it says in Revelations chapter 20, verse 13, 14, he will be thrown into the lake of fire. That is the second death. The reason why I tell you this is because if you follow him, you're going to lose. If you follow him, there is no truth in you guys. You will be dead for the rest of your life in the name of Jesus. I'll make a video for that that will show a, tr a clear truth. Of people who follow the Illuminati in the name of Jesus. But the Lord Jesus Christ is King of Kings and He will always have the authority. You, whoever needs to come back to God, humiliate this time during the coronavirus. God has given you an opportunity. Yes, people are dying and people are panicking and everything, but stop being panicking. Like God says, not to worry, trust Him. And then what you need to do is you need to separate from the world. Start thinking of what you did wrong, give it to God, um, pray to Him, cry to Him, confess, and become a new man. Or become a new creation, excuse me. And then once you become a new creation, have faith and trust Him. And then you need to know the Bible. You need to know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because if you know the Holy Spirit, like the Word of God says, you will be sealed by the Holy Spirit. That is the truth. This is my testimony. So the question is, how do I overcome this enemy when you have nightmares? Well, I used to praise, I used to sing uh, Christian songs like Jeremy Camp, Hill Song, all these songs that you hear. You think of a song before you go to bed in the last minutes. You clear your mind and you sing that song. And when you go to sleep, you go to sleep with that peaceful. So if you get attacked in the name of Jesus, you get to use your instruments of the Holy Spirit in the dream in the name of Jesus. I've done it and I have overcome the devil in the name of Jesus many times. Now the reason the devil is trying to go after me really crazy is because I'm telling everybody in the world the, the truth of God in Facebook and I'm telling you guys in YouTube pretty soon I'll tell it in Instagram in the name of Jesus. But the love of Jesus Christ wants everybody to be safe. 
He wants you to have eternal life. So don't be afraid and just talk about it in the name of Jesus. That's why people of God are here. Trust who you have to trust and let Jesus Christ come in and save you in the name of Jesus. So you can have the seal of the Holy Spirit so when the day of rapture comes, you'll be safe. God, thank you, powerful God, for giving us the chance to preach the word of God and to show the truth to the world in the name of Jesus. So now they, our eyes are spiritual and they know it in the name of Jesus. Have a good night.